Lung cancer is one of the leading causes of death around the world. Lung cancer is a kind of cancer that starts as a growth of cells in the lungs. So people who smoke have the greatest risk of lung cancer. The risk of lung cancer increases with the length of time and number of cigarettes smoked. Quitting smoking even after smoking for many years significantly lowers the chances of developing lung cancer. Lung cancer also happens in people who have never smoked. So, most of lung cancer cases fail to show symptoms until the disease has spread to other parts of the body. However, some early warning signs can raise suspicion and prompt individuals to see a doctor for diagnosis. Now, let's explore top 10 early warning signs of lung cancer that you must be aware of. Be sure to watch until the end because there is one that may surprise you. So, if you are ready, let's get into it. Number 1. Persistent cough. Now, there are many different causes of coughing. However, if you have a cough that persists and just won't go away, it could be sending a message that your body is not well. So most of researchers have shown that a chronic cough is present in the majority of people with lung cancer. Not all chronic cough is a sign of lung cancer but it can be an indication of a certain disease. However, when you see such a sign it's good you seek help from a medical profession. Number 2. Persistent cough with blood. Persistent cough with blood it should be a concern to you that something is going wrong with your body. Though it can be caused by a variety of conditions ranging from infection to cardiovascular issues. So, coughing blood is one of the serious symptoms which might indicate possible advanced stage of the disease. So, this happens when the tumor grows, it can erode into the lungs blood vessels causing bleeding into the airways. So, this bleeding can lead to the coughing up of blood. But remember, this sign can be alarming but it's not always an indicative of lung cancer. It may sometimes be caused by other conditions such as pneumonia, tuberculosis, lung infections, or a traumatic injury. Number three, night sweats. So excessive sweating during sleep when the environment is not overheating, which makes one to be unsettling and uncomfortable during sleep. Though night sweats can be the results of various conditions ranging from hormonal imbalance to infections, they can also be an early warning sign of lung cancer that one should not ignore at all. So the connection between night sweats and lung cancer is not entirely clear, but studies show that it can relate to lung cancer. Now, this happens when tumor can directly affect the body's temperature regulation by producing substances that interfere with normal metabolic processes, hence leading to excessive sweating of the body. So, the immune response to lung cancer can lead to sweat when it tries to face the disease. When you see this kind of sign, it's good you seek early medical attention for diagnosis. Number 4. Chest pain this one is of the most common one signs of lung cancer. Chest pain can occur when a tumor presses on nerves or causes chest tightness. So the pain may be worse when breathing deeply, coughing or laughing. Many of the researchers have shown that approximately 50% of patients with lung cancer have chest pain during time of diagnosis. However, not all types of lung cancer are associated with chest pain. When a tumor in the chest grows and expands, it can spread to the bones, organs, and it can also cause pain. However, chest pain is a symptom associated with many other conditions like stress, anxiety, and a heart disease. So when you experience this sign, it's good you visit a doctor for early diagnosis and treatment. Number 5. Hoarseness Lung cancer can cause hoarseness when a tumor presses on a nerve that controls the vocal cords. This can result in a voice that sounds raspy, husky, strainer or weak. Studies have shown that having a hoarse voice or hoarseness can be a less known sign of lung cancer. Hoarseness may accompany more common symptoms like coughing, including coughing blood, chest pain and shortness of breath. However, 
Hoarseness can also be a side effect of plant cancer treatment. That is what studies have shown. When you see such a sign is good, you seek medical attention. Number 6. Loss of appetite. Yes, loss of appetite is a common side effect of lung cancer and its treatment. It can occur at any stage of the disease, but it's more likely to happen in the advanced stages or in the final weeks of life. So if you are living with lung cancer, you may at times experience a loss of appetite as well as difficulty when chewing and swallowing. This is very common with up to 9 out of 10 people with advanced cancer losing their appetite to some extent. However, a loss of appetite can quickly lead to weight loss and malnutrition, which can negatively impact your health. Number 7. Unexplained weight loss. Due to loss of appetite, patients with lung cancer may lose weight as well. However, weight loss is a hallmark sign of multiple types of cancer including lung cancer. Loss of weight can occur when the body doesn't absorb nutrients from food or burned calories faster than normal. If you want to know you are losing weight, you can track it by weighing yourself once a week at the same time. You can also check how your clothes fit. If you are losing a lot of weight, you should talk to your doctor or healthcare team. Number 8. Shortness of breath. As previously mentioned, Dyspnea and shortness of breath are two of the most common symptoms of lung cancer. It can occur before or after diagnosis and can be caused by a number of factors like tumors. Tumors can spread to the lungs and block or put pressure on the airway. Fluid build up. Fluid can build up in the space between the lungs and chest wall. Pleural effusion or around the heart. Pericardial effusion. Shortness of breath can be distressing and can make it difficult to find a comfortable position and sleep. It can also limit everyday activities and trigger anxiety. Now, if you, are, you have never had a trouble breathing but notice that you are struggling to catch your breath, it is important to see your doctor. Number 9. Extreme fatigue. Cancer in your lungs can cause breathlessness and this can make you feel fatigued. A buildup of fluid in your tummy can also make you feel tired. This is because you are not able to breathe properly. Also, as mentioned previously, lung cancer often leads to malnutrition and weight loss, both of which can contribute to fatigue. So it is common to feel very tired during or after treatment, and you may not have the energy for day-to-day -day activities. So, cancer-related fatigue is different from tiredness as it may not go away with rest or sleep. Number 10. Recurrent lung infection. This happens when cancerous cells can weaken the immune system making it more difficult for your body to fight off infection. So, lung tumors can block the airway causing frequent infections such as bronchitis and pneumonia. Studies have shown that over half of people with lung cancer develop lung infection including pneumonia. In addition, tumors can grow and obstruct the airway leading to a buildup of mucus and bacteria. Therefore, it creates a perfect environment for an infection to build up. So, if you want to support the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it.